Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. And what we have here, we take the log on both sides. That is, here we have log a raised to the power x equals to log 60 from here. The next step here, we apply the power law of log logarithm. When we have log m raised to the power p, the same thing as p log m. At this here we have x log 8 equals to log 60 from here. The next step here, we divide both sides by log 8. I just divide this side by log 8. Also divide this side by log 8, which implies here log 8 cancel each other. And we have x equals to log 60 over log 8. That is, next step here, 60 can be written as 4 times 15, which implies we have x equals to log 4 times 15 over log 8 here. Then this follows from the law of log n. When we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. That is, here we have x equals to log 4 plus log 15 over log 8. The next step here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 15 over log 8. Then also here, we can rewrite 15 as 3 times 5. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 times 5 over log 8. Then this also follows the law of logarithm and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 plus log 5 over log 8. Then from here, we separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 4 over log 8 plus log 3 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8. Then next step here, we can write 4 as 2 times 2 as 2 squared and also 8 as 2 times 2 times 2 as 2 cubed. Then what we have becomes x equals to log 2 squared over log 2 cubed plus log 3 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube. And here we apply the power law of log ring. At this here, 2 comes there, 3 comes there, 3 comes there, also 3 comes there, and we have x equals to 2 log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 3 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2. As this here we have log 2 cancelled each other. We have x equals to 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 over log 2 
plus also 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2. Then, yeah, we apply to your base. When we have log A over log B, this is the same thing as log A to base B. So this here, we have X equals to 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 3 base 2 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2. Then, here we bring this together as one fraction. That is, we have x equals to the SM here. That's 3. This becomes 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2. That is, the value of x here we have. 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. Then let's check here. If this satisfies this given problem, that is, we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 3 is 2 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Then what we have here becomes 8 raised to power 2 plus log 3 is 2 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. This is equal to 60 on this side. Then here we can rewrite it as 2 raised to power 3, which is raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3. This is equals to 60 on this side. Then here this power multiplies and 3 here comes each other. We have 2 raised to power 2 plus log 3 base 2. Plus log 5 base 2, which is equal to 60 from here. And this follows log, this is when we have a to the power m plus n. Same thing as a to the power m times a to the power n. That is, here we have 2 squared times 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2 this is equals to 60 on this side and here we have 2 square as 4 times this follows when we have a raised to the power log b to base a which is equals to b and this here we have 3 and times 5 this is equals to 60 on this side then 4 times 3, 12 times 5, 60, which is equal to 60 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 plus log 3 base 2 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell. Share this video with thumbs up and your comments. See you next class and bye for now.